It is so early, there is no time for breakfast, so we've been given this breakfast box to eat this morning on the bus. It comes with a selection of breads, a ham and cheese sandwich, some mango juice, a packet of chips, and a banana. Or as the Americans say, banana. Banana. Say banana. Banana. <laughs> Very early morning. Oh, that's too early. And we're going to Abu Simbel, which is a group of temples in the desert. But it is about three hours away from here. I think it's just under 300 kilometers. So we've had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning so that we can get there nice and early and then get back to Aswan to start our Nile cruise, aka Faluka boat tour. Welcome to Abu Simbel. These are the grand temples of Ramses II and they're located near the border of Sudan. The interesting thing about these temples is the fact that they were completely relocated from their original sites because during the mid 20th century when they were building the dam in Aswan they realized that by doing so the waters would rise and that these places would potentially become submerged underwater. So the Egyptian government paired with UNESCO to cut out the entire temple and moved it 60 meters higher so it was safe from the rising waters. It's absolutely incredible.
King Ramses was the most documented king of ancient Egypt and the four statues at the front represent the stages of his life. The one on the far left over here is King Ramses in his younger years. The one that's not there was him in his teenage years. The third one was middle-aged King Ramses and the last one was meant to be the old and wise King Ramses. So it represents the different stages of his life and it's a super interesting way to be welcomed into such a grand temple. Unfortunately, there are no photos or videos allowed inside, which means that you'll definitely have to come to this place to check it out for yourself. Craig is currently fashion from? shopping for the Faluka. He wants something bright and tight to impress the crew. That looks so nice, Craig. Does it fit? That's good. It's gonna be tight. I think this is secret. I want to put it on later tonight. Man, that is. That is a fun Faluka shirt. <laughs> that is a Faluka shirt and a half, isn't it? Should I get a size bigger? Next stop of the day, the Aswan High Dam, which is one of Egypt's most important achievements, modern day achievements, because not only does this place help control the floodwaters of the Nile, it also helps to irrigate crops and provides the country with a massive amount of hydroelectricity. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think my favorite thing about this dam is it just puts into perspective how big the Nile River is. This place is absolutely massive and to hold back that much water, it's a pretty incredible modern day achievement. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Located just south of the Aswan High Dam is the Philae Temple, which is actually located on an island in the middle of the Nile, which means that the only way you can get there is by boat. temple is considered to be one of the most picturesque temples in all of Egypt and it's pretty easy to see why however it's also an example of a place that needed to be completely relocated during the construction of the Aswan High Dam because if it wasn't this place would have been completely submerged underwater
Just ordered our Luca for the next two nights. So exciting! Check out this cozy little space. This mattress to sleep on. We've got this little dinner mat over here. Initial thoughts? Uh, we're gonna have an amazing time. Amazing. We have games. We have booze. We finally have food. <laughs> That's all the ingredients for a good time. We're happy. Awesome. <laughs> This is ridiculous shit. It <laughs> doesn't even fit. <laughs> begins our epic two-day journey along the Nile oh, in our Faluka. Craig's excited. Woo! I brought my rave shirt. Let's see what tomorrow brings. <laughs> Just watering the dirt. Thank <laughs> you.